Hey guys, it is Mauricio and I am back again. And this time I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know how to actually understand smart money concept when it comes to the distribution phase. Now you can make a lot of money when, when you know how to play this accordingly. So that is why I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how to understand a distribution phase when it comes to seeing these charts. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and go on to the H4 timeframes just so we can see a better perspective. Okay, this is going to be a very narrow, very concrete video. And I want you guys to see the full concept, how it looks on the charts in real life. Okay, real life trading and what to expect out of it because we are expecting a potential five to one risk to reward. But that means we can gain about 5% of our account and only risk 1% of it. Okay, so before we go into that, let's go ahead and see what a distribution phase is. So we understand what smart money is. Now, smart money is when the banks are playing in the market. And we want to know, understand how to understand what they're doing, right? What's the distribution phase? Why are they doing these certain movements and so on? So I'm gonna go ahead and go on Google real quick and look up a distribution schematic, okay? So once I find my distribution schematic, I'll be able to see what happens in the market, okay? So a distribution schematic, we'll go ahead and find this real quick right here. So we have a distribution schematic where we can see the buyer's climax, and then we can see the whole movement, right? We can see the equal lows, we can see the up thrust, the after thrust, after distribution, and pretty much this same phase that's happening right here is happening exactly over here, okay? So I want you guys to see this real quick. We have been in the market consecutively to the upside. We see the market going up and up consecutively, and look at this trend, okay? It looks very, very nicely to the bullish side. So we have been going to the upside on a bullish momentum. Now, understanding where distribution phase is going to happen is when we find these areas, okay, we can find these equal lows, equal highs um, in the market. We can clearly see that the equal lows have been identified over here, which these equal lows have created an area of liquidity, which I'm going to go ahead and mark for you guys right here. So it has created this area of liquidity where I'm looking for the market to potentially go through, okay? Now, not just that area of liquidity, but also if you see a little bit to the left, you'll be able to identify an order block, okay? We can see this order block created over here in this area, which is a point of interest I'm gonna go ahead and take in consideration. So this order block is an area that's gonna be acting as a magnet for the market. And as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and mark where the market potentially go into this order block, okay? The initial of that order block, and that's where I have my take profit. So if I round this up to a nearest hundredth level, it's gonna be at 1.88700. Now, writing this up to nearest 100 is going to help me understand how the banks play and how to actually take this in, con in consideration when we start trading. Okay, so as you can see, the market had created equal highs. Same thing as it had created over here, equal highs. Now we have our up thrust, okay, up thrust. What's happening in the up thrust? We can clearly see that the market had created this up thrust over here as well. So market, once you create the up thrust, we have the market, you know, go to the downside very, very rapidly. And what do we have over here? Clearly the same thing, up thrust goes down really rapidly and right when it goes down, it starts coming up to an up thrust after distribution. So that way it can do its final phase to the downside before it starts moving um, more to the downside. So what am I seeing? I'm seeing that the market had created these equal highs, had created that up thrust. And currently at this moment, we are at an up thrust after distribution phase over here. So understand that we are on an up thrust after distribution phase. We can start looking for potential style and opportunities to the downside. Now, as you can see, there's a potential 50 pip stop loss and 127 pip, um, 274 pip take profit, which is a good risk to reward. It's about a five to one risk to reward. And when we start doing this risk to reward, it's something we want to take in consideration when we start trading because that's what's going to grow our account long term. Okay, let's not think so much about the pips, even though the pips are good, but risk to reward is more important as long as you're using risk to reward um, with proper risk management as well. Okay, so risk to reward focuses on that a lot distribution phase we're actually seeing this distribution this distribution phase play out very very nicely i'm going to consider storing opportunities as soon as i find some price hikes to the downside so you can go to like the h1 time frame and start looking for some bearish price action now what do we see right here we can see that the market had created a spring okay a spring where the banks or hedge funds or institutions have pushed the market to the upside have rallied the market to the upside now when the market is rallied to the upside what happens okay there's buyers and sellers. Usually sellers are getting scared and they're, they're saying, you know what, there's too much pressure to the upside and they start falling off the game, right? They start getting out of the trades. And since they just start getting out of the trades, that's when the hedge funds enter for the selling positions to actually 
push the market to the downside even further. So that way, you know, we get we get all those sellers out of the of the region. Now there's more money for hedge funds and so on. So what I would be saying, telling you guys at this moment is look for any price action there, any bearish price action within this region. So that way it can go to the downside. So this is a really, really good risk to reward when it comes to trading this pair of GPAD for the downside, which would be short positions with a five to one risk to reward um, ratio with a 50 pip stop loss and about a 275 pip take profit. Now understand we need to wait for some price action for it to go to the downside before we execute this trade. So just be very cautious with this trade, but it is a very, very, very good risk to reward trade. So with that said, this is a quick distribution phase. I'll be explaining more in depth with distribution or blocks, point of interest, institutional candles, equilibrium points, and so on, on the upcoming videos. So with that said, like always, let me know what you would like to see on the next video. I did know that some of you guys said distribution phases. Here you go, a perfect distribution phase that you guys can go ahead and take into consideration. If you guys want me to go more in depth, let me know, and I'll go ahead and do a specific video with just distribution going in depth. So with that said, like, comment, subscribe, and also remember to end the year on a blue note. With that said, see you guys on the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.